So, the next part in the functioning of the state government is the state legislature. Okay, so state legislature is the place where laws are made. So, under the constitution, state legislature is discussed in part 6 between article 168 to 212. Okay, so basically, mein kaun -kaun hota hai? So legislature mein we have the houses or a house. See, when it comes to state legislature, all the state legislature of all the states does not have two houses. Some of them have two houses and some of them have one house. Okay, so here it is given house or the houses. So don't get confused between this because some of the states have one house that is only the legislative assembly and some of them also have legislative council and hence the statement house or houses. So just like the parliament, just like our parliament, hai, Usme do houses hote hai, Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Similarly, here also we have two houses or just one house along with the governor. Like in the parliament, we have president. President plus the two houses, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, makes up the legislature at the central level. So the legislature at the state level is made up by the governor and the house or the houses. Okay, so clear with this? The two houses would be the legislative assembly and the legislative council. So either the state can have just legislative assembly or it can have both the legislative assembly as well as council. Now, have a look at this diagram. So as I was telling you, either the states can be the state legislature can be bicameral or they can be unicameral. So unicameral means they only have one house that is the legislative assembly. And bicameral means they have two houses. That means they also have legislative council along with the legislative assembly. Okay. So when we have two houses, in the state legislature, that is legislative council or legislative assembly, so the law making process is completed by both these houses. Okay, now here in this diagram, their strengths etc. is given, their basic features are given. Like for example, if we talk about legislative council, just say Vidhan Parishat ke naam se bhi jante hai. And plus it is also known as the upper house. Now, if you remember, Parliament ke case maybe we have seen upper house and lower house. So the Lok Sabha was the lower house and the Rajya Sabha was the upper house. Thik hai? So here the Vidhan Parishad or the Legislative Council is the upper house at the state level. And the Legislative Assembly, jise hum Vidhan Sabha bhi bolte hai, is the lower house. Now maximum strength. Maximum strength kya hota hai? Matlab ki aapke legislative council mein jo hai, kitne members ho sakte hai. Okay, so legislative council mein, you can have only one third of the total strength of assembly. So, agar aapki assembly jo hai, maan lije, 90 members ki hai. Okay, aapke legislative assemblies mein, kitne members hai? 90. So that means legislative council mein kitne members honge? One third. So 90 ka one third kitna hota hai? It comes to 30. It's just for illustration, huh? don't take it literally. Just an example that how this formula works. Okay, so legislative assembly ki jitni bhi strength hai, your maximum strength of the legislative council would be one third of that strength. So, if that strength is 90 in the legislative assembly, then how much can the maximum of the council be? 30. 30 is not below, but it can't go up from 30. Okay, apart from this, minimum strength is also told in the legislative council. Ki. It should not be less than 40 members. मतलब मिनिमम 40 मेंबर्स होने ही चाहिए एंड मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेंथ कितनी होनी चाहिए आपकी लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली के वन थर्ड 
members. Okay, though there are exceptions in this minimum strength wala clause, we will see later. Okay, now apart from this, यहाँ पे जो आपके मेंबर्स है लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल में दीज आर इनडिरेक्टली इलेक्टेड ओके डायरेक्ट इलेक्शन इनडिरेक्ट इलेक्शन व्हाट हैपेंस इन डायरेक्ट इलेक्शंस डायरेक्टली द मेंबर्स आर इलेक्टेड बाय द पीपल वी वी द पीपल गो टू द बूथ्स एंड वी कास्ट आवर वोट फॉर आवर फेवरेट कैंडिडेट्स सो इट इज नोन एज डायरेक्ट इलेक्शन Okay, and when we do not elect someone directly, they are elected by our representatives. It is known as indirect election. So, members of legislative council or the Vidhan Parishad are indirectly elected. Okay, on the other hand, legislative assembly के members को हम directly elect करते हैं. Okay, so members. of legislative assembly are directly elected and members of legislative council are indirectly elected okay maximum strength kitni hai legislative assembly ki it is 500 and minimum strength is 60 okay so isme confuse nahi hona hai minimum strength dekho dono ki batai hui hai council ki 40 hai assembly ki 60 hai okay and assembly ki maximum strength hai 500 एंड काउंसिल की इट इज वन थर्ड ऑफ द टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दैम्बली दैट इज अगर पांच सौ मेंबर्स है यहाँ पे देन वन थर्ड ऑफ दी टोटल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ दीज फाइव हंड्रेड मेंबर्स विल बी दी मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ काउंसिल ओके इसके अलावा द टर्म ऑफ द असेंबली इज फाइव इयर्स द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इज इलेक्टेड फॉर फाइव इयर्स हर पांच साल में हम क्या करते हैं फिर से वोट करते हैं नए कैंडिडेट्स चुनते हैं हम ओके नए मिनिस्टर्स आते हैं कैबिनेट में राइट सो लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली का टर्म कितना होता है फाइव इयर्स का होता है दो इट कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड एज वेल एज इट कैन बी डिजोल्व बिफोर इट्स टर्म इन सम सर्किमस्टांसेस बट नॉर्मली वी विल टेक दिस टर्म एज फाइव इयर्स ऑन दी अदर हैंड इफ विल कम टू द लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल देन इट कैन नॉट बी डिजोल्व That means it is a permanent body. इसका कोई टर्म नहीं होता है ठीक है ऐसा नहीं है कि पांच साल के लिए छह साल के लिए आपने यहाँ पे सारे मेंबर्स को जो है इलेक्ट किया हुआ है एंड ऑल ऑफ देम आर गोइंग टू लीव देअ पोस्ट आफ्टर दिस पर्टिकुलर टर्म नो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट सो इट इज अ परमानेंट बॉडी इज ये डिजोल्व नहीं होती है बट दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट द मेंबर्स दैट हैव बीन इलेक्टेड इन द लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल आर गोइंग टू रूल फॉर एवर आर गोइंग टू बी देयर फॉर एवर नो सो वी हैव अ टर्म फॉर दीज मेंबर्स ओके सो वन थर्ड ऑफ इट्स मेंबर रिटायर एवरी सेकेंड ईयर एंड द टर्म इज फॉर द मेंबर्स not for the house so this term is 6 years so that means every member in the legislative council is going to remain in the office for a term of 6 years okay 6 saal ke liye wo member of legislative council rahenge and 6 saal ke baad kya honge wo retire ho jayenge so ye cycle is tarah se chalta hai ki legislative council mein har 2 saal mein every second year वन थर्ड मेंबर्स रिटायर हो जाते हैं एंड उन सीट्स के लिए फिर से इलेक्शंस होते हैं एंड ओवरऑल मेंबर्स का टर्म कितना होता है सिक्स इयर्स ठीक है सर दिस इज द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर दैट हाउ स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर फंक्शंस एंड व्हाट इज द कंपोजिशन और बेसिक